Here we're going to tie the new fly by Mike Mercer called the Pheasant Tail Prince Nymph. First thing we did was start with a tungsten bead at the front of the hook. I'm going to take two Prince Nymph Brown Goose Biots. I'm going to tie them in on each side of the shank of the hook. And I want these to be about half of the length of the entire shank of the hook. You don't want to tie them in too long. The tails are meant to be fairly short on this pattern. Once I've got those tied in, I'm going to trim out the excess here. Now I'm ready for my rib, which is just going to be a silver small wire, small silver wire. I'm going to tie this in right along the side of the hook here. Then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to take it forward. I'm going to build just maybe a slight taper to the body on this fly. Going from thin to thicker as we go forward. And I'm going to take that wire and I'm just going to rib the body, segment it. Once I've got it segmented, we can capture the wire. And you can see I left quite a bit of room near the front of the fly here. I didn't want to get it too close to the bead. I stopped about a third of the way from the the bead. All I'm doing now is just kind of cleaning everything up. I need a nice smooth base for the next couple of steps here. Next step is to tie in the first thorax or the thorax. I guess technically the last part will be the head. I'm going to use just one strand of peacock hurl. I'm just going to tie that in. Take my thread forward. I'm going to take that peacock hurl I'm going to build up a thorax, just wrapping it forward with each wrap right in front of the other. And I'm going to stop with a little bit of room, about half a bead length, up here at the front of the fly. Next thing to do is to tie in the legs. For this I'm going to use a nice piece of partridge. When I say nice piece, I mean a piece that's got a nice even tip to a, the tip the front of its feathers. I don't want any junky junky partridge. You need a nice clean piece. And I strip away all the under fur at the base of the feather. Then I'm going to take my scissors and get into the tip of the feather here. All I'm going to do is just cut a notch out of the tip. And that'll leave legs on each side. I'm just going to take that feather and I'm going to However long you want your legs is how far you push back this feather. I want the legs to be about middle of the body here. I'm just going to pinch that feather into place very, very tight. Do a nice loose wrap. And as I wrap this, oh, this one didn't cooperate here. We'll try again. Didn't go where I want it to go. Trick is to pinch it right into place, very, very firm. If you don't have a piece pinched, it'll roll on you. So I try to really get it nice and tight and firm. There we go. That'll form your your legs. Then you could trim out the excess partridge. Now we're ready to tie in the wing case. Just clean up all that excess partridge there. For the wing case, I'm going to use some amber goose biots. I want these biots to kind of splay away from each other in a little V. And these biots, you want them to basically be as long as the body. I like mine to be just a hair longer than the body and I put them right on top of the fly, pinch them into place and then tighten down with my thread. And they wander on you a little bit. You can move them around with your fingers. Then I trim out the excess
And the last step is to build up a head. And for that, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of pheasant tail UV ice stubbing. Got to be very, very careful not to overdo it with this stuff. I put on a very thin layer of it. Dub it as tightly as you can. Ice dub is fairly difficult to dub tightly. The pheasant tail blend isn't too bad. All I'm going to do is just take a few turns with it here, at the head. And once you've done that, you can whip finish right behind the bead. And you basically have your tungsten pheasant tail prince nymph. It's a hybrid, hybrid of both my favorite flies. And that's all there is to the Mercer's pheasant tail prince nymph.